I'm going to show you how to make the best sorting system of all time. And at the end, I'll show you what happens when you try and sort millions of items. Bruh. Do not try this at home. Well, or, or, or do. Yeah, actually, actually, do, act, yeah, do, do, do try this at home. <laughs> First, let's learn the basics and then I'll show you the light up system. So the sorting system works per column. This is what you'll need for one column. So if you want like 15 columns or 10 columns, just times this by 15, 10 or whatever number you would like to use. First, lay a row of barrels or chests, however wide you would like. You can use chests, but I like to use barrels because they're way more lag friendly. Hold down shift and put a hopper into each barrel. Hold down shift and jump so you can get up like this. At the back of the top hopper, you're gonna wanna place three building blocks, like this. After that, copy this shape. Pause and take a close look. You should have a structure that looks exactly like this and not like this. Actually, if you had something that looked like this, maybe, maybe just stop. Come along on the inside and place redstone torches. Now it's time to jump up. Break this block so we can get the redstone repeaters in. The redstone repeaters should face towards the barrels. Once they're in, cover the space back up. And this is just to check, make sure the redstone repeaters are facing this exact same way. Now it's time to place the redstone dust. Place the redstone dust all over the top building blocks, leaving a small gap for the comparators. Place the comparators facing into the redstone like this. It should look like this. And now for the tricky part. You want to hold shift and right click a hopper into the comparator. So the hopper should look like this. So now we just need to create the in pipe and the out pipe. This is where the items will come from and where they'll end up if they don't get picked up by the sorting system. So I'm going to have it coming into this side and then going out to this side. So for items that don't get picked up in the sorting system, we want to create a junk chest. It's not really junk. It's still valuable. Shut up, Denki! Then hold shift, jump and click to come up like this. Hold shift and connect the hoppers like this. You can then build a wall if you like and then use item frames to display the items that are in the chests. So here's where the magic happens. Go up to the anvil and use any stackable item that you like and rename it to filter. You can name it to anything, including subscribe to Stripey. It just has to be unique. Now back to the top. You wanna to make sure every single checking hopper is filled with those filter objects, except for the first slot like this. Then all you need to do is fill the first slot with whatever item that you want to be sorted. So for this one, I'm just gonna put some iron and you'll notice that the items start to tick down to 41. This is the item system working correctly. When it gets to 41, the redstone is activated and then the items stop passing through. If you want to decrease this number, so more items pass through, just add some more filter objects. Okay, so make sure you complete every single checking hopper, placing the corresponding items inside each one. Now this is when you can decorate the item frames. And bam, the sorting system is done. Any item that comes in the in pipe will get sorted into the correct category, and if it doesn't have a category, it'll move to the junk chest. Listen. But as promised, I'm going to show you how to make a light up sorting system. This is actually really easy. I did this in my survival Minecraft server. So you can see here, I have a huge storage system. Each category holds up to 50,000 items. So when I come back from a big day of exploring, all I need to do is put all my items in these chests and they'll go through the sorting system. I actually have chests all over my base that go straight back into the sorting system. Then the sorting system will sort each item into its correct category and the lights will tell me how much items I have in each category. Each light represents two barrels full. Now something of this size is probably imperative that you use barrels because they really reduce lag, especially if you're playing on a server with friends. Trust me, I know, my friends made me replace all of these chests with barrels because the game became pretty much unplayable for them. Okay, so let me show you how to quickly make this. So what's happening here looks complicated, but it's really not. All that is happening is a comparator is checking to see if there's anything inside the barrel or chest, and then it's pushing a signal through a stone into a redstone lamp. The reason it has to go through another stone is that so it reduces the signal strength so it doesn't light up adjoining lamps at the same time. Then we just have some connected hoppers and storage that will fill up from the bottom to the top. Then, instead of connecting our sorting system to the bottom chest like before, we are going to connect it to the top. So here's a quick step by step. Start by laying the chests, add three hoppers going into each other and into the chest. Finish the wall by going wall, redstone lamp, wall, redstone lamp, 
then on the second row of hoppers, add a building block, and then follow this design with the comparators. Now that you've done that part, all we need to do is add the chests. So the only thing that's necessary here is that the chest or barrels are next to the comparators, and that's it. Now all you need to do is build the sorting system from before and connect it to the top chest. This will differ depending on the type of base you're building, but this is how I did it. So I tested this out in a new world and I built a really cool cliffside base. So whenever I put any of my items in the sorting chest, they go through some hoppers and into the storage system. If you like videos like this, like and subscribe. This YouTube channel is brand new.